Hi everybody, welcome back to my garden. So do you see this behind me? It's supposed to be an herb garden. It's actually quite embarrassing. I have a gardening YouTube channel and this is what my herb garden looks like. So we're gonna do something about that today. Believe it or not, there are herbs in here. And you can see, this is basil. It's all really dry. And this bed does not have irrigation. I've just never gotten around to putting it in here. But herbs don't need quite as much water as, say, tomatoes or some of the other plants. But it has been so dry and so hot, and this bed is just so overgrown. The whole raised garden is overgrown that I am just going to get in here and trim everything back and we'll see if we can find my herbs again. Now the first thing I did was I built myself a new compost because my current one is a little full. Now this is just a Gaylord box that I had gotten from work and I lined it with landscape fabric. You can see the landscape fabric right there sticking out the bottom. It's a little full. The thing I don't like about this is I can't get in there and turn stuff. So when it came time for me to build a new one I just grabbed some pallets from work and I put this up. This will give it good drainage because it can drain right to the soil. It can give it good air circulation. Um, if I find that it's too much air circulation, I can always add um, some kind of boards. I have so many boards from pallets. I can always add more boards on the outside, which I might end up doing anyway. And then in the corners, all I've done is just put uh, an L bracket at the top and at the bottom on each side. Found a good spot for it here. And I sh sh the nice thing about this is you can get in there and turn everything. So that should work a lot better than this my old one. So that is my new compost. So beside being a lot of weeds in here, there is a lot of stuff in here that I'm not going to keep. Like this fennel. This is fennel that you use for the fronds. It's not bulbing fennel. I'm going to take that out. Look at the roots on this. They're pretty severe. And then I've got parsley in here. I've got oregano that's way overgrown. I'm just going to cut all this way back. Along with the basil. I'm going to cut that way back too and see what happens. The things like this chamomile and then this dirt is just bad. It's bad. We're going to pull that out. So herbs like this basil, I'm just going to get in there and leave about six inches on there. I don't know if they'll come back or not because they're pretty far gone.
So you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not, the stems are starting to turn brown. So I'm cutting it just above where the stems are turning brown. That is a ground cherry. I don't know how that got in here. This parsley, I'm just gonna gather it up. And cut the whole thing off. Now I'll actually use this. I'll just take these brown ones out of here. This is perfectly good parsley. It's dry, but it's very usable. So I'll use that. So I'm gonna do that to the rest of this bed. So here it is. That looks much better. You can actually see where all the plants are supposed to be. Um, I'm gonna put a sprinkler on this just real slow sprinkle and then I'm going to run to the city I'm gonna grab some compost and I'm gonna grab some wood chips there we go I'm gonna let that run while we go to the city so you can see here at our city facility we've got a big huge pile of leaf chip uh, leaf chips <laughs> of um, wood chips and then this is compost that the city has and then over here behind that car is another leaf chip and then like I can't point with this one like right there there's another compost pile so they keep this pretty well stocked in the spring it goes pretty fast but um, this time of year, late in summer, you can always come here and get a bunch of stuff. In the back of my truck, I've got four five gallon buckets of compost and then this old garbage can, I think it's 35 gallons or something like that, full of wood chips. So let's go back home. So this bed has had about a half an hour of uh, sprinkler on it. If you look, it's soaked in pretty well. At least it puts a little bit of moisture in here. So I'm gonna put a thin layer of compost on here. This bed is getting low. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put wood chips over it and the wood chips will help retain the moisture in this bed since I don't have irrigation in here. go all done I've got the whole thing mulched that should really add a nice moisture layer of moisture protection to this it'll be interesting to see how this comes back I know that the parsley will come back here 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 that'll come back no problem oh there's another one there right there the basil I'm not so sure about this one probably will and then the time this is creeping time here this is regular old common time that'll come back so those are perennials 
that and the oregano are perennials. So that feels good to have that done. At least when I look in here, it's there's a little sense of order in here. Now, this is my next project. I'm going to completely empty out this bed. Again, I'm going to I'm going to plant in here. I'm going to plant some lettuce. And so what I'm going to do is completely pull everything out because everything's done. I'm going to uh, put in some fertilizer, like a 10 10 10 fertilizer. And then I'm going to add compost and then I'm going to add a little bit of wood chips, not that much. But maybe I won't add wood chips. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll show you when I'm all done. Okay, so instead of putting 10 10 10, I put this chicken manure fertilizer in here and I put two five gallon buckets of compost in here. And I remembered that I had started these tomatoes. Um, some of these are like early tomatoes. Like this golden girl in here is an early one. Uh, the country taste was the early girl. I'm going to take some of these and I'm going to put them in here and see how it goes. I should be able to fit this is a three foot by six foot bed so I should be able to fit six tomato plants in here comfortably and I'll just pick six of them and that'll be that and I'll plant the other ones someplace else. So you realize as soon as I plant this our weather is going to turn and our days will be in the 60s. So, <laughs> just to spite me. So let me get this planted. These should take off once they get in this bed with all this room, they should take off. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put some mulch down. I'm going to have to take this tarragon and cut it back because it's shading out part of these. And then I ended up putting the dripped line down so that the emitter, the emitter is right here, is right by each plant. So when I do run the drip irrigation, which is every day right now, um, they all get watered. Well, I've reached the end of my endurance. You know how it is when you start cleaning something and before you know it, like you're cleaning your kitchen and before you know it you've got all the drawers emptied out and all the cupboards emptied out and then you're like well as long as I'm doing this I might as well clean the oven and then you know one thing leads to another to another that's kind of how this is um, I just wanted to get it so I could walk in here again and that was my main goal and I think I did a pretty good job um, hopefully We'll still get a little life out of this garden. We will. I will. We, you and me, we, when I say we. Um, let me show you what I did. So the herb garden looks a lot better. You can actually see where there are plants. All the weeds are out. I took out the chamomile, I took out the fennel. There was cilantro in here, took that out. Um, there's some other stuff that's fallen in here. So, yeah, that's um, looking much better. And then back here, 
I really thinned out the Ella campaign. Some of those were starting to fall over, so I took them down. And then back in here, worse, there was a cantaloupe plant and a squash plant that reseeded itself from last year. They didn't have any fruit on them, so I pulled them out. I had some parsley and chives in here, which I couldn't even find. And then I trimmed back all of my yarrow because it was all dying. All the flowers were dead. So I went inside, read up on it, and trimmed it back. And I did that over here as well. But I found out there was a pumpkin plant. This pumpkin plant here goes into the flowers, and there's a pumpkin, like, right back there. Otherwise, I would pull that out. And I've got this other pumpkin here as soon as this one is ripe which is pretty close to being ripe um, you can see the tendrils here are all d dead I'm just waiting for the stem to turn a little more brown um, this beautiful sage plant has been hidden I would really like to uh, get some sage and figure out how to make like sage bundles so you can do some burning sage and then in this bed, this had the fennel and the celery. I tore all that out. The celery was really bitter. I was able to eat a little of that, and I was able to get two nice bulbs of fennel to eat uh, before I went on vacation. But the rest of it, you know, it's been so dry and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't get it. So I put those little tomato plants in here. You can see them. We'll see what happens. It's pretty late in the season, but I've got a good two months before we get a frost. And for these tomatoes, that should be enough time. We'll see. So yeah, it looks a lot better. And then I put the rest of the mulch down here. That looks a lot better. So Ellie's happy she can get around. Ellie, do you see anything in there? Huh? She likes to hunt for chipmunks. So that is what I did today. So like I said, I'm really exhausted. I'm all red faced and hot and sweaty and dirty. I'm gonna cool off, get some more hydration in me. I probably drank about five of my, I have this cup that I put ice water in. I probably have drank about five of those and I probably need to drink a couple more because <laughs> I'm just sweating so bad. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens with that garden. I'm really kind of looking forward to watching to see what happens. I'm gonna turn the sprinkler on again in here and then tonight it will get the irrigation system for about 45 minutes and that should give it enough water to keep it going. But because they're new plants and because I really want all that compost to kind of soak down in there and the fertilizer to break down, I'm going to turn the sprinkler on so everything can get a good feeding. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Sharon's Home and Garden. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to click on that subscribe button or give me a thumbs up. And until next time, happy gardening, everybody. Bye-bye.